Hey guys, as always, a big good you do to each of y'all. Let's talk about EDCs and belts and holsters and all of the things that go into protecting you, your loved ones, and those around you. It's a mess. I've got a lot of gear right here in front of me. I'm going to be fumbling through it. I'm going to share with you some tips that I have, what I look for in an EDC, some things to avoid, some things that I really, really don't recommend, hopefully leveling us all up, or at least, you know what I'm going to say, getting us thinking about how we carry and it's gonna be a little bit of a mess as well. And I think it should be fun. So buckle up, here we go. This episode is brought to you by my friends over at Danger Close Armament, industry leaders in parts and accessories, and they can take your favorite pistol and make it even better with their DCA package. It is awesome. And if you're just looking for parts like me, you can order by 1 p.m and they ship the same day. I just installed this DCA threaded match barrel on my shadow systems and I already love it. There's a lot more to see when you head over to Danger Close Armament. Big thank you to those folks. New channel sponsor to each of y'all. Thank you for every thumbs up. Thank you for clicking it. I appreciate it a whole, whole lot. All right, I'm gonna walk you through three different sections here. First, what my priority is when I set up my EDC. Number two is what I look for in holsters. Number three, I'm gonna tell you three things that I avoid. And then, then at the very end, I'm gonna have kind of my big key and my big takeaway. Now, here is a major, maybe two caveats I wanna open with. First, this is not prescriptive. Too many guys go, you have to carry this one exact way. Like you have to have all Kydex with a single clip up front and one extra magazine. And if you don't carry that away, you're a moron. No, this is not prescriptive. I like talking about ideas. Number two, what works for you doesn't work for me. So there's no way to say this is how you carry. Although there are some very specific things we can do to carry safely, no matter what our day-to-day -day lives are like, whether we're working at a, at a job, maybe on a job site, we're bending and climbing and going underneath stuff and maybe working, maybe like construction or carpentry. It's very different than working an office job or maybe working at home like a lot of folks do. It's also very different if you have a different body type than I do. A lot of folks have different uses of their hands. Somebody may have arthritis and it's just difficult maybe in their shoulders to get all the way back to the five o'clock position. My point is what works for you doesn't work for me. So let's be sensitive to that. Let me know as we go along what you like, what you disagree with. All right, first, my EDC priority. This may be, may be different for you, different thinking. I've been carrying a lot for a long time and I won't say I have every holster made for the Glock 43, but I've just, I mean, I've got a lot. And I've carried them a lot of different ways. Kind of a Glock 43 is one of my, one of my EDCs. I don't want to get too trapped into what firearms. That's not this. This video is not which firearm you're carrying. I'm talking about how to actually carry it safely. Number one, I am into looking for a really good quality belt. Again, different body styles, different body shapes, but I'm going to be looking for something that is super rigid. I mean, we are talking super rigid. I mean, this is, I really like this one. This is the core essentials. But I also recommend, and I've been using these for years and years, Blue Alpha belts. This one is a Cobra, it's a mini Cobra or a hybrid Cobra. And here, I've never used this one. They sent it to me a long time ago. I think it looks neat, I've just never used it. It just clicks in, it's just a basic EDC belt. But what I want is I want those belts in around me and just locked in there rigid. I really, really like it. Think about the size, cause depending on your holster, they have different size clips. I like the big one. I'm a big boy, it's what I like. Number two, I like thinking about holsters. Now, there's a lot of different holsters on the market. You have some that are fully Kydex. Here is one that I haven't tried yet, but it's called Fat Boy Holsters. Josh and Josh in Knoxville, they talk about these a lot. I haven't tried it yet, but it's for bigger boys. Why'd they send that to me? <laughs> what are they saying? But then you also have hybrid style holsters. This one's fabric on the back, Kydex on the front. Never forget, a lot of guys will hold these upside down and shake them. These are designed to have your body push into the Kydex. Now, full disclosure, Hidden Hybrid Holsters has been supporting what I do here for years and years, but I was also a customer for years as well. 
I really recommend Hidden Hybrid holsters for comfort, but full disclosure, they do support what I do here. Leather on the back, they also have Kydex on the front. Now, what I'm looking for, regardless of your style, fully Kydex, this one's outside the waistband, whether you're inside the waistband, outside the waistband, three o'clock, appendix, five o'clock, I don't care, do what feels good to you. I wanna see that trigger guard fully, completely covered. That is not optional. So that's really what I'm looking for. So I'm really looking for things locked in there. So I'm choosing a, a, a holster that I really think is protecting that firearm and protecting that trigger. And then finally, for my ADC, I'm not just looking at belts and holsters, I'm also thinking off-body carry. Now folks, a lot of folks don't wanna hear that, but off-body does work for a lot of folks and I'm okay with it. We have to practice, separate video, we gotta practice with it. This is a Vertex bag. I haven't broken it in yet, hadn't even tried it yet, but they have a special on the backside right up here. You can grab this big handle right here, yank it down, and you have instant access. And they've got some hook and loop in here, Velcro, so you can dial that in, get a Velcro holster, and you can carry off body. Another thing that a lot of folks like is just, and these are very specific situations, but a lot of folks really like having kind of a gun bag. I've got here the Shadow 2 with three different magazines in here, and then I also can carry a tourniquet in there as well. I like off-body, but again, I've got to practice with it. I know where it is, and I think that's really important. All right, let's go on to what I'm looking for in a holster. I already mentioned first, number one, is that trigger being covered. Here's another hidden hybrid holster. This one has a single clip, has a, has a claw up front, and that claw pushes It'll push the end of the gun over into your belly just a little bit better. So that's what I'm looking for is a trigger cover. I'm looking for this thing to lock in and just feeling it go all the way in. Again, hybrid style holsters, these things you do need your body to push up against there. But I'm fine with whatever holster you, you know, that you really enjoy and that really works for you. This is a tier one concealed. This is a very heavy rig overall because I have it loaded down with 32 rounds, I think, or 34 rounds. It has a claw as well, double clip, but there is some bend to it that goes around your body. Y'all saw this on Instagram, and I think it's from, well, I know it's from uh, Omega Holsters, and it's also got a lot of bend here. Drama llama, can you believe it? And then finally, I'm looking first for the trigger covered, second, just locked in. I just wanna feel that it's really in there. But number three, I go for comfort. Comfort's not even top two for me. So I do like for comfort, if you're gonna be, like I say, taking the kids to the movies, I think a hybrid style is really good. If you're more tactical and you really have to worry about kicking in doors, that's a whole different style of all Kydex. So a lot of different styles. You can go really, really big, especially with a big like this 92 Beretta. This is gonna hang in two different places on your belt, and that'll lock in from a larger part of your belt. This is a really big rig. If you have a small gun, you can go with just a single clip, and this is made for an appendix right up front. So this is our Glock 43. So depending on what your gun you're using and how big you're using. All right, I told you my priority, I told you I'm looking for in a holster. This is an incomplete list. I know people are already typing things I've missed. I know, it's a shorter video. Finally, think, three things to avoid, then I'm gonna tell you my big key. Number one, avoid Serpa holsters at all costs. I don't like anything that's gonna require your trigger finger to be able to get the holster, to get the gun out of the holster. This one, I've had it for years. I don't carry it ever, but this is for my Jericho, and you've gotta be able to push that button to get that come out, to come out, and you're just gonna train your body to use that finger as you're drawing Bad things happen when you use Serpa holsters. Really, really bad things. Number two, I, I get it that not everybody's gonna agree with this, but an all leather holster, there's some really good ones on the market, but some of those cheap ones that are made like in kind of a boutique, not, not all of them, but there are some where you will see the front part of that leather over time, just over and over going in will fold. And I have seen a lot of pictures online of guys shooting themselves because of that little bit of leather folding over. Not all of them, I don't recommend 100% leather holsters. We're in the age of Kydex right now. I think Kydex, especially on the front, is important. And then finally, you know, anything that just doesn't cover the trigger is super important. Let's talk about Uncle Mike's. A lot of folks have Uncle Mike's. 
These are just those fabric holsters. By the way, every gun here has been double check, double check, triple check. I know I have broken some rules here. I get it. In firearms media, sometimes we get our hands in front of things for filming. I get it. Everything here has been double checked. These are just padded. I only use these as a little pillow, as a little, a little pillowcase or a little sleeping bag for transport. So I may stack three or four of these up just taking to the range. This is not a holster. This is just to protect the finish of a firearm. Check this one out. This was actually, I purchased this with this one. Doesn't even cover the trigger. Look at that bad boy. That is just out there. This is this ain't good, which is why this has been in the drawer for over a decade unused, not the gun, but the actual holster. So anything that doesn't really protect, not good at all. Plus this kind of stuff is just not, it's not what you're looking for. All right, that's a lot of words. What works for you? Let me know. What is the thing that really dials things in for you? What I want you to do is to carry, to carry thoughtfully, to practice whether you're using a backpack or that off-body satchel that works in some specific situations or a lot of folks are carrying uh, nine millimeter carbines a lot whatever works for you for your day-to-day -day, are you concealing are you keeping everything locked in there are you being and look at both sides it's not just the front but the back as well are you really covering up that that trigger guard but for me my big point the thing i want to leave you as a takeaway is i recommend a variety some guys go this is the way i carry Okay, well, it's hot outside now. That only works with a jacket. Or what only works in the summer doesn't work in the winter. What only works with a little small one doesn't work with a large one. So I really like practicing with a variety, and I think that's important for all of us. That's where I'm at. An incomplete list. Again, what works for you doesn't work for me. And uh, I, think, I think it's worth talking about. Belts, holsters, protection, and being mindful. Thanks for stopping by. To anyone that's against all of this stuff, from by cold dead hands. Bye.